Goku Black has transformed into his own Omniform, but Goku has now transformed into one of his omnipotent form. In the last part, we discussed that Goku has now arrived to planet Earth as he saw that everything was destroyed and therefore Goku Black was responsible on doing that. He then went and fought with the Z fighters as Goku Black knocked everyone out except for Goku. Goku and him were going at it until Goku Black has transformed into his Omni form. No matter how much power Goku would use in his Super Omni 3, along with Orange Form Piccolo or even Super Saiyan Blue Broly Legendary Super Saiyan, it wasn't enough as he was easily making sports out of them until Goku went and transformed into his omnipotent form. What is going on my Z fans? Welcome back to this part of What If Goku Was Born and Omnipotent. Before we begin this What If, please drop me a like, I'll greatly appreciate that. And if you haven't already, subscribe to this channel yet. What are you guys waiting for? Subscribe now and click the bell so you'll be the first time when the next episode comes out. And check out my backstory, Hero of Z. It is pinned inside my comment section below. Trust me, you're gonna love this series. It is a very enjoyable series and is an ongoing series. Goku has now transformed into his omnipotent form, as he calls it Omni Goku. Everyone couldn't believe what they were witnessing, as everyone was very shocked on seeing the power that he is using, and no one knew that except for Dai Shinkin he managed to get this power all thanks to Ultra Goku. He went to a timeline of what if Goku was sent to Zeno's world, and therefore that Goku trained him, allowing him to tap into the form that he was always made for. After all, he has been wished to become an omnipotent. From there, Goku stared right towards Goku Black as he looked at him and said, Well, Black, are you ready to see how strong you are now? I will say, if you really want to check out your new power, try it against my new form. What the hell? How did you get this power? It makes no sense. You and I are both the same. I should have got this power too. Really, we're the same, so tell me. Were you also born as an omnipotent? I mean, no, I was not, but I was trained to get the same power as you. <laughs> you could do all your training you want with the Iro foolish man, but you can never reach my level. It's over, Black! As Goku and C came right in front of Black and kicked him right in his face, getting him to be sent flying meters away. Black went and tried to do a backflip, trying to stop himself from being kicked as he charged right towards Goku, and from there he began to hit him with everything he's got. Goku on the other hand was dodging each and every one of Black's attack like if there were nothing. No matter how much Black would hit him, Goku was instantly dodging all of it as he went and he uppercut Black, getting him to be sent fly high in the air and from there Goku came right in front of him and striked him down. All the Z fires got up to see what's going on as he couldn't believe the power that Goku was wielding. Dai Shiken and Whis were beyond impressed and surprised as they couldn't imagine that the omnipotent they wished for is standing right before them and that Goku is now finally entering that role and using the power he needs to. From there Black then got really angry as he went and powered up a powerful Kamehameha wave and aimed it right towards Goku. Goku on the other hand went and he walked right through the Kamehameha wave like if it did nothing to him and said, you're so weak, if you really want to touch me, you're gonna have to get stronger than that. Is that so? I see you have become really cocky, Goku. Ow. Before he could finish his sentence, Goku instantly came right in front of him and again striked him in his face, getting Black to send flying but Goku followed him as he continued to hit him non-stop. Black was completely powerless against Goku's new omnipotent form, after all he is a nigh omnipotent, but his form was still stronger than anything that Black could ever use or anyone has ever seen. With that, Black went and tried to hit Goku, but it was futile. None of his move worked as Goku went and twisted his arm and broke it, getting Black to scream in pain and from there Goku went and started to beat the crap out of him. Goku then looked towards him and said, It's pity Black, you could have used this power for the good reasons, but you chose it for the wrong reasons, and because of that, you're gonna die. Huh, <sighs> I'd rather die than ever be merciful by you. You, before Black would finish his sentence, Goku without wasting any time went and aimed an Omni Blast right towards him as the blast hit Black head on and he was erased from existence. Goku with his new nigh omnipotent form, he was able to now finally tap into the power that he was always born for, or was he? Goku had no idea but all he knew was this power was way more than enough to stop Black once and for all and that this is the power he needed to make sure he could stop any war that's going to happen. 
Daishiken and Whis came right towards Goku as Daishiken was beyond impressed and said, Oh my god, Goku, I'm so speechless. I don't even know what to say. <laughs> Thanks, Daishiken. I cannot believe in myself the power I'm using. And the best part is, I can now use it anytime I want. As Goku reverted right back to his base. But no matter what now, now that I have this power and with all you guys' help, let's stop any war that's gonna happen. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I was able to hear what you said. You said Zeno has died? That is right. Turns out Iroh killed Zeno, and now he's fully ready to take over all, all the angels. Well, Zeno tried to erase us, but thanks to Father, we were unerasable from his power. Wait, but how? Remember when I went with you to the other universe or other timeline? I managed to get my counterpart to wish for it. So therefore, we angels are untouchable by Zeno's power. But Goku then saw that Vegeta and the rest has come as they went and bowed towards Goku. Goku told him not to and said, I'm so me guys, relax. Don't do any of this bowing stuff. But Goku, you're an omnipotent. I was always that from the start. Well, technically, I'll, he wished for me to become one. So that's how you became one. Well, yeah. How else you think he would have become one? And that's the best decision I've ever made. But Goku, b as Dai Shiken was speechless and he couldn't say anything because everyone saw, Iroh has arrived. So you managed to go and kill Goku Black. Huh, I would expect nothing less from you, Mr. Omnipotent, but now I have bad news for you. My infinite war has now begun, and I'm gonna make sure I'm the ruler of not just this timeline, I'll be the ruler of all timeline. What? So you're Iroh, huh? That's that bastard. Tell me, why did you kill Zeno? I thought he had your back. He was always on your side. <laughs> I told that foolish football that he was a fool for trusting me. He should have kept his trust with you, but too bad he didn't. And killing Zeno was always part of my plan. My plan is to take over as the next Omni King here. And for that, I'm gonna bring out a war. A war with all the deadly timeline villains that any has ever existed will join force with me. No one can stop me. You're wrong. I'll be the one to stop you. <laughs> Please, Goku. You may be born an omnipotent, but you're nowhere near that power. Is that so? Goku powered up his key as he went and rushed right towards Iroh and he tried to strike him. Iroh wasn't phased by it since Goku was in his base. He then looked towards Goku and said, How disrespectful. Do you really plan on hitting me with just using your full base power? Come on, you disgust me, Goku. As Iroh flicked Goku away, Goku without wasting any time went and he screamed. <laughs> Goku has now transformed into his Omni form. Okay then, how about you fight me in this form? Alright, this is it. The battle that will conclude actual this entire war. Ha! Bring it on then! As Iroh and Goku stare towards one another, and now their battle has begun. Iroh went and rushed right towards Goku, while Goku did the same and their power clashed with one another as they were going at it back and forth. With each landing blow, the entire multiverse and different timelines were able to feel a gravity and a bang bang noise coming as they had no idea what that noise coming from but it was a fight with Goku and Iroh since he is wearing the time ring he's able to do control anything he wants when it comes to the timeline Iroh then went and uppercut Goku Goku got sent flying high in the air as he was shocked to see that Iroh was strong enough to hit him Goku went and he striked Iroh right in his face but Iroh brushed it off as he went and kicked Goku in his stomach getting Goku to gasp for air and with that he punched him across his face. Goku fell right towards the ground. Dai Shiken was very concerned as he couldn't believe what he was witnessing and with that he went and powered up his key. Since Zeno is gone he saw Goku and needed his help. Dai Shiken rushed right towards the battlefield as he went and striked Iroh right in his face but Iroh was able to catch his fist and said, How weak are you? If your omnipotent can touch me, 
What do you think a weakling like you can do? Get lost! As he threw Daishiken away, getting to be sent flying. With that, Goku got right back up and said, How? How are you able to counter all my moves? Black wasn't able to touch me at all and you? You're able to make sports out of me. <laughs> I'm the real deal, Goku. You are a fool for thinking that you're that strong. But in reality, you're weak. With that, Iroh went and charged right towards Goku as he began to punch him non-stop. Goku was getting the light speed out of him as he couldn't believe it that Iroh's power was this strong compared to his. He felt that ever since he has transformed to this power, he's able to now be stronger than everyone. But he was wrong. Iroh was making sports out of Goku as he continued to hit him non-stop and from there he went and uppercut Goku, getting to be sent flying high in the air. Iroh then came right next to him and he striked him down. Goku fell right towards the ground as he reverted right back to his base and he passed out. Everyone was extremely shocked as they couldn't believe it while Iroh began to laugh and say, <laughs> Oh weakly like him has lost, but now it's time I summon everyone from the past timeline to come and join me. We together will rule the entire timeline. As everyone saw the sky start to crack and from there Iroh was beginning to use the time ring. Dai Shiken without wasting any time quickly went and took Goku and the rest of the Z fighters as him and Whis everyone went and they escaped from planet earth while Iroh continued to stretch out his infinite war. The infinite war arc is now going to begin before we conclude the finale. Make sure you stay tuned by clicking the bell so you first know what happens as we have a huge war coming in this what if. If you haven't joined my discord server yet what are you guys waiting for? Click the link in the description below and join it so you can be the first Z fighters. And if you haven't checked out my backstory, please check it out. It is called Hero of Z. It is pinned inside a comment section below. Trust me, you're going to really love this backstory. As it is a detailed backstory about Goku T23 and is an ongoing series.